Hello everyone, I'm gonna unbox this Dell R710 server that I ordered on eBay. I just received it today via UPS. So let's let's unbox this big bad boy really quick. I won this server. The bid on this server was I believe around 150. And it's equipped in with two quad cores and 32 gig of RAM and three 300 gig hard drives. And what was really, really nice about this purchase, well, I didn't know it was going to come with a plate. I mean, the, the description didn't show it, nor did the pictures. So that's nice. But what was most important for me is these bad boys right here. The rest the mounts themselves so I can install this server into the server rack that I purchased over there. So this was a nice add-on. Power cord. Cover up, cover up the address, and this hundred fifty four dollars for this server. And here we go. This is. A little dusty. The previous server I, I purchased, the, the IBM, it actually came really clean. This one looks really, really dusty. I do have a compressor, so I'll use my compressor to clean this thing out later on. Let's just finish the unboxing real quick. Nothing else. I've never opened one of these up before. Here's a quick how to. Looks looks really nice, other than it's it's dusty. It is dusty. So I'm definitely gonna have to get my compressor out and clean it up. Now it came. Let's see if you can see this on the video. It did come with. So this server has four onboard NICs, whereas the Dell, I mean, I'm sorry, the IBM has two. And we have an additional add-on card, which is a Broadcom, which has four, four more ports. And this looks like our RAID controller. I don't know if you can see that. So if we get closer. Okay, so here's our RAID controller, an extra 
for port Gigabit Nick. And our cables running up to our hard drive bay. Came with three 300 gig 15K hard drives. different from the IBM server. And these of course are empty. And then we have a battery. It looks like this battery is for the I think it's for the RAID controller. Let's see if I can get this off here. Here's the plastic shroud. Just as promised, they did give me 16 gig sticks per CPU. Now originally the listing showed 16 gig, so I messaged the seller and asked them, you know, shouldn't the uh, second CPU also have a, a dim so it'll at least boot and so they added the extra dim I would have gotten this server with just one stick and not been able to boot it and I will try to boot it up here shortly I just want to take a quick look on the inside before I do let's check out the power supplies Eight hundred seventy watt power supplies. See how easy it is to remove the riser card. Pop this out. Squeeze this blue tab. Actually, you know what? I think we have to remove this first. So it came with a Broadcom four port gigabit NIC. Here's one of the riser cards, riser two. And here is the RAID controller. And it looks like it's a 512 meg cache. I'm not sure that could possibly be upgraded later on if needed, but I very seriously doubt I'll need to do that. This is actually going to be a surveillance slash PFSense router. Um, while well, these are actually running, the IBM servers running on my, on my virtuals over there. All right, I'm going to put this back. I'm not going to remove this. I just wanted to remove this and look at it. this I really wish I could get a server that had an x16 riser card I've seen a few videos for my playhouse where he will he added a, a video card to one of his servers These pop out fairly easy. Definitely is going to need a cleaning. 
and the hot swappable fans. USB ports. I'm not sure what this port is. It could be something similar to the IBM server with the system management port. So, this is it. I'm going to put it, I'm going to go ahead and install the rack mount and, and get it in the rack. Okay, I just installed it into the rack and I'm booting it up now. And it is posting, which is a good thing. Let's go into the BIOS. See the 32 gig, 1067 megahertz. Here's our processors, 2.4 gigahertz. Armor, of course, for a piece. 